Hello there. Today we've got us a kit unboxing that I want to do. Um, let's get right to it. This here's the kit that we'll be unboxing. Um, it's actually already unboxed, as you can kind of already see. Um, Revell Snap Tight Boss Mustang, but it's the Shindota edition, which is uh, kind of an interesting, uh, interesting version of it. So this is a snap tight kit, although it uh, it does have an engine in it, which uh, is kind of a cool a cool idea there. So I got the the kit here laid out. Um, it's standard uh, standard Mustang kits of this era. Um, everything looks right. The only thing that I'm not the happiest about is it looks like we got a couple little marks here where uh, the tire sat on the plastic and maybe sucked some of the some of the uh, detail out and stuff like that, but it's low enough that I think it'll be okay. Should be able to make it work one way or another. Um, so this kit here is uh, snap tight, but the, the biggest differences between this one that I, I have not seen before is this, uh, this splitter here and this, uh, rear wing which looks like they're kind of set up to uh, to the real car in that aspect um, the biggest downfall on this kit here is that the provided decals are actually stickers and I don't like the effect that they give and it's definitely not up to the standard that I that I would like to build to. Thus the reason that this kit has set so long in my stash and not been built is because of the uh, decal problem. Well I got in, in hold with McQueen Scale Productions. He is on Instagram and on YouTube. Um, he's a great guy great to deal with and he did some custom work for me so this is what he did he took the original stickers and he made them into a decal for me um the the one thing that i i chose that i wanted to have done was i didn't want to have the car be black when i was doing my research on this car I saw that it came in a orange and a yellow. So I've got some Buster's custom colors, orange and yellow. Orange is probably the color that this one is gonna be. Um, this one is gonna come up a little sooner in the in the builds in the build series of mine, just because I wanna I really wanna try these decals out. I'm super excited about the way that they turned out. Um, they're I, there's a little smudge here, but I think that'll polish out and it shouldn't be too big of a problem there at all. And uh, then we can uh, bury it in some clear and it should be a pretty good looking car when we get done. If you have any decal needs, definitely talk to this guy. He is awesome. He does great, great work. He's great to deal with, and um, I had to have these shipped internationally because I don't live in the country that he lives in, and he sent them out, and they showed up super quick, and I, I did order a bunch of other decals from him as well, but uh, we'll save those for a later date, but uh, you guys do enjoy, do enjoy, have a good time, happy modeling, and... Uh, this is just a, a quick little kit review for uh, for us to come out. So thank you. You guys have a great one.